Cage. So Ishmael, what is your science project about today? My project is about understanding aerodynamics. It's the study of air that impacts on a solid object like an airplane wing. I also did a track test, but before we get to that, we must learn about force. What is force? Force is something that pushes or pulls an object. What is thrust? Thrust is a type of force that pushes the object forward like when you throw a paper airplane, just like in this photo. And look at this airplane's engines. This also provides thrust. Drag is also force that of air that pushes against the airplane and slows it down. What is lift? As the airplane flies, air goes over and under the wing, which provides a force called lift. The Earth's gravity that pulls the the airplane down. Suppose as I drop this piece of paper, the Earth gravity pulls it down. Does it help bring the airplane down too? Yes. So it helps the airplane to land, huh? Yeah. All right. So Ishmael, you did some experiment to understand all this drag and force and all that stuff too. Yes. Okay. So this is my experiment. Here's the drag test. So mom and me made three airplanes. We threw airplane one five times, airplane two five times, and also airplane three five times. And then, and then we also got the measuring tape and measured how far each airplane went, and then, and then me and my mom cut these flaps on 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 these planes. What are these flaps for now? Is this to test the drag? Yes, that, this is for the drag test. And and then we and I then I threw airplane one five times, airplane two five times, then airplane three five times. But then I noticed. Did you measure it again? Yes, and then I also measured it again to check how far each airplane went. Okay. And and then I noticed with the drag it wasn't going very far, but without the drag it went very far. Oh. And can you show me what this table is? And. And this chart shows how how far airplane one went, and air, th and how meters it went. Same for airplane two and airplane three. And this is how far airplane one went with without the drag. This is how far airplane one went with the drag. This is how far airplane two went with without the drag. This is how far airplane two went with the drag. And same for airplane three. So it looks like with every time we added drag, the airplane slowed down, huh? Yep, a lot. All right. So was that fun to find out about force and drag and all this experiment? Yeah. Friends, don't forget to like and subscribe our video and give a big thumbs up and ring the bell and and watch our videos on We the Musty Kids. Bye. I'm going on my flight. See you next time!